Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. We're here today with the Bart's Walker Food Grade 45 foot custom trailer. I believe it's the uh, 6200 gallon food grade. And uh, as you can see, I've labeled Bart's template with right, left, front, and back because I was confused the first time around. Now you can just put decals on this if you want to, like he's showing in his tutorial. I'll post the link down below to his truck, his Facebook page, his his tutorial video on how to do these skins and all that. But uh, I've got some unrolled cans I want to use and uh, try to see how they look on the on this trailer. So here we've got the red bowl, and what I'm doing now is I'm selecting the bit that I want for the back of the trailer. Now I've got these laid out in this uh, graphic right in the order that they're going to go so it makes it a lot easier. Uh, I'm just going to um, I'm just going to pull this ellipse tool out here till I get the right circle that I want and I'm going to be just behind the edge of that just inside of the edge so that I get a good crisp clean edge on that. Uh, I don't want any weird lines showing up if I can help it uh, sometimes you can't help it if it you know if SCS is showing that trailer up with seams in it or whatever but we're going to select that with the ellipse tool and then we're going to use the little pair of scissors up there to cut that out then we're going to flip back over to our template now down on the right hand side this is paint.net so it may be different if you're using a different program but where that red arrow is we're going to add couple of layers one of them we're going to slide on top of the template that's going to be our graphics layer I slid another one down below we'll show you what that's about here in a little bit anyway we're gonna we're gonna edit paste and then slide that in there and then reposition it and resize it to where it's just over the edges of that uh, template area where it shows the rear of the truck trailer get it positioned here just right where it's just over the just over the line if it's a little bit over it doesn't matter it's just you know SCS is just going to cut that off anyway and uh, maybe that'll help it blend a little bit Now we get back over to the graphic here and we'll select do the same thing we use the ellipse tool and we'll grab the front of the can and this is just the way I wanted to do it because I wanted that uh, I wanted the top of the can showing in the back of the trailer I thought that was kind of cool but uh, we just stretch him out same as we did the back of the trailer we're going to do the front now once you're happy with it click the pair of scissors and that'll cut that out of there and then flip back over to our truck template and edit paste same thing here just uh, conform it to fit just just covering the, uh, the lines of that template and that should position it nicely on your trailer and like I said you might not have to worry about doing all this if you're just doing a, a simple set of decals like a, a, I don't know a food logo or something that you want stuck on a chrome trailer you can just stick that on the side by itself you don't have to cover the whole body of the of the trailer I'm just doing this uh, just sort of an experiment to see how it looks uh, on the um, the perfectly round trailer uh, you know making it look like a, a drinks can I thought that might be kind of cool and we're gonna let me uh, I think I, I think I got that face in the right way 
we want the top of the can is the rear of the trailer we're going to grab this one right here we want the top of the can is the rear of the trailer so that's on our left so this is going to be the right side of the trailer so that that is correct that it's in the correct order on the on the graphic that i have so we're going to collapse that down and fit it same way we did with the round ones only this is a rectangle we're just going to fit it just over the edges of the of the black part of the template there so all right and then we'll pretty happy with that right there hop back over to our graphic and use our rectangle tool again selection tool and grab that other side once we've got that we'll use our scissors and cut it and then we'll edit paste stretch that one down into the area so it's visible on the truck you can you can have it just overlapping the lines so that uh, so that you're sure that it covers everything and you're not cutting off part of the graphic you know with the trailer itself once you're happy with that what I need to do is we need to go get Bart's transparent layer I think it's fairly critical but um, he does he included the link to it in his his video and um, I'll I'll provide you with all the information down in the description but there it is it's just a transparent layer and you want to select and copy and then you want to put that on your bottom layer or your under layer underneath the one that says background which is your template you want that transparent layer in there and then what you want to do is select the background layer which is your template and delete that once you're done with your graphics then you need to um, you need to save as oh I got one more thing I want to do here I'm going to go back to my graphics layer I'm going to mask off that area that has the stamped on date for when the Red Bull was made because I don't really want any descriptive things in there like dates so I'm just going to go in and obscure that pretty easy to do there we go we've obscured it masked it off I'm going to deselect and then we're going to go save as and I'm going to go ahead and save it as a P PDN first which is a paint.net native file so that if I want to come back later and change something then I'll still have my layers intact and I can I can go in and change something or correct something now we want to save as again and we want to save this as a DDS file and there's a naming convention that uh, that Bart uses in his trailer skins and you're going to be accessing the file that is the Walker 6200 gallon by Bart 001 underscore skin file it's a skin file version 1.2.0 is what I'm using here and that's in your mod folder or should be if you've already got your your trailer going uh, you should have your trailer your main trailer file in your mods and then this skin file in this skin file what you want to do is you want to find it right click it you want to open it with WinRAR and then once you've opened it 
you'll be presented with a little message from Bart on the right hand side there but you want to uh, dig down until you find the skins and there they are you'll see OBJ's and DDS's now there's a naming convention in here that needs to stay because if you change the naming conventions if you change the name of a DDS file you won't have an OBJ to associate it with and it won't show up so what we're going to do is we're going to use his naming convention and we're going to we're going to name this I think it's 17 underscore custom and that will be the same as one of the names in in his uh, skin folder there and we save it as a DDS and we make sure that it's a uh, I think it's D DT DXT 5 make sure it has the 5 in it D, DXT 5 and then flatten it and that'll flatten all your layers together and then what we can do is we can close out of there we've still got our uh, our WinRAR file open our skin skin file we're going to take our new graphic and drag it over and just drop it right there in the compartment it'll overwrite the uh, 17 underscore custom if that's the one you're using and then we'll close out of that and we'll open up our American truck simulator Through the magic of video editing, we were able to open our American Truck Simulator lightning fast. No waiting on loading screens, right? All right, now that we're in here, we'll go to Trailer Purchase. And then we'll go to Bart's. And then we'll click on that and say Customize Configuration. And then we're going to go select not the paint job we're going to select the accessories and what you want to do is roll around a little bit to the side till you can see that pin right there that says decal that's your decal and that keeps it it keeps it as a chrome trailer if you want to use decals on a chrome trailer um, but we're we happen to be covering up the whole thing here so because we wanted to make it look like a can so that's pretty cool it's a little stretched out but you know it's a long trailer and you know cans aren't that long but it, I think the decal looks cool on there anyway uh, maybe Bart will come up with a short version of this too that'll look great with with uh, cans <laughs> but anyway it looks good I like it it's, it's a nice trailer pulls nicely too and there we go there's the front where we've got it obscured where the date was graphic down the side and then the pop tab in the back pop top tab top whatever you call it the drink hole I've got another one that I made that was a uh, I don't remember what it was <laughs> anyway I made another can before this one just trying kind of trying it out and uh, I, I had it backwards to begin with but I, I did correct that and then I went on with this one but anyway thanks for watching if you like what you see go ahead and like comment and subscribe have a good day